And now Samuel comes to this verse here where he says, Has the Lord any delight in burnt offerings or sacrifice? Sometimes we sacrifice ourselves for God, but we do it in disobedience. Because we not completely obey God, we're partially obeying the Lord. We want to do God's will our way. And we don't we refuse to do it God's way because we feel that if we do it God's way, it's a greater sacrifice. My sacrifice is good because I'm comfortable with the way I serve God. My sacrifice is fine. I serve the Lord the way I feel is the best way to serve the Lord. Or I obey God the way I feel is best. In this case, the Lord tells him, is it a delight in the burnt offering or the sacrifices rather than obeying the voice of the Lord? Samuel was a prophet of God that was completely respected as a man of God. You talk to any uh, Jewish person, even today, and ask them who Samuel the prophet was in the Old Testament. Even today they will tell you he was a man of God. Highly respected. Ask them about Moses, another man that was completely respected till this day. As a man of God. People that used to say what to do and when they didn't do it, God, Jehovah God, would fight for Moses as well as for Samuel to defend his word. But every time Moses spoke, he didn't speak for himself. He didn't speak what he felt was right. He didn't say or, or, or do what he felt was, you know, better for his own will. No, he did everything according to the word of the Lord. So when Moses spoke the word and the people rejected it, they were not rejecting Moses, they were rejecting God. Because the word was coming from God. Am I making sense? So he says, as obeying the voice of the Lord, behold, to obey is better than sacrifice. I could fast 40 days. Go before God in 40 days fasting. And present my body to the Lord in 40 days fasting. But if I am not in obedience to my church, I am wasting my time in that sacrifice. If I am not obedient to the Lord, The leader of your board, the leader of your deacons, the leader of your of the men, the leader of the woman, whatever leader there is, put in a church. If I am not obedient to that person because I'm looking at them as a man, I'm in disobedience with the Lord. Did I continue? To obey is better than sacrifice. And to heed than the fat of rams. And he goes on and he continues. So he, he's, he's letting Saul understand. He, he's giving it to him so he could understand what God is saying. It's not coming from me, like saying, I was, if I was Samuel, I was Sal. This is not for me. If it was for me, you could do whatever you want. It's not my business what you want to do. But this is what God is telling me to tell you. See, that's, that would be sad. God, Jehovah God, the Word of God is telling you these words. And He continues. And He tells them, For rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft. 
Does witchcraft come from God? Or does it come from the devil? Witchcraft is an evil teaching that a lot of people believe is godly because these demonized people use the Bible to do their witchcraft. I'm not going to get into that. There's a lot to say about it. You, somebody goes to see one of these soothsayers or these people that practice witchcraft, witchcraft, they don't have a Bible right there. Just to make that person believe that what they're going to do comes from Jehovah God, when it really comes from the devil. Not everything out there, just because it's using the word, is from God. I don't want to get into that point. But he says, for rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft and stubbornness. Oh my God. Can I get into stubbornness? Can I talk a little bit about stubbornness? Do we all know what, who, who knows what stubbornness means? A stubborn person. A stubborn person hates, hates instructions. A stubborn person, you could talk to them until you turn blue, and that stubborn person will not budge. It's my way over the highway. You don't come over here telling me what to do. You know, who are you? And you know, you could tell them nicely. You could use a whip, no matter how you talk to this stubborn person, they would not budge. This is a little hard today. Am I being hard? This is not me, it's the word. I'm just giving you what the word says. Stubbornness is as iniquity. It's another form of sin. And as idolatry. Do you know that God hates idolatry? Do we know what idolatry is? Can I mention a few things of idolatry? One of the main things that God hated, and that's why He put it in the Ten Commandments. Thou shalt not worship idols. Whether they're made of paper, copper, Wood, stone, iron, brass, no matter what it's made of, God hates it and He calls it an abomination for anybody to worship idols. And you know why He says He hates it? Because He said, I am the Lord thy God. I am a jealous God. Because who created the heavens and the earth? Was it an idol? Who are idols made from? Is it from God? They are made by the hands of men. And as hard as it may sound to some people, it's an abomination to the Lord for anybody to put the God of heaven aside to worship something made from men. And you know what else an idol can be? An idol can be anything that you love more than God. Whether it's your children, your job, your parents, whoever it may be. If you love them more than God, you are an idol. Oh God, but Lord, you haven't got me stoned yet today. And he said it clearly, and stubbornness is as iniquity. And idolatry. 